How you doing folks? This is Pete Gardner here recording my efficacy session for the balloon effect. What's been the highlight of my career so far? Well that's very hard to say because um, every everything that happens in your career that pushes it even slightly in the right direction feels like a, a very profound landmark. Um, I remember I felt like I'd made it when I was 18 and I was playing to an audience that consisted of more than 13 people. Uh, I felt like I'd made it when I signed my record deal with NUA Entertainment two years ago and I certainly felt like I'd made it whenever, um, whenever I got my first uh, national radio play. Um, but if I have to pick one event uh, that sticks out in my mind, I did a gig uh, at the Sugar Club in Dublin two years ago where a lot of my idols have played. and. Um, I have to say there was a there was um, a certain energy in the room that night that made for a very memorable evening of music, and um, I, I, that, that's a night that I won't forget. Uh, here are some new artists that I'm uh, listening to. Well, I must say that I was tremendously impressed with Foy Vance's latest effort. Uh, he recorded his new album last year. It's called The Wild Swan. And um, there's a certain sense of authenticity in Foy Vance's uh, music and in his voice that um, we don't necessarily hear enough of these, um, these days. So I think that if I was to do a tour with anybody, um, it would definitely be him. If I could travel back in time and have a conversation with anybody, it would definitely be Leonard Cohen. Um, since he passed away in November, I've had um, two or three very, um, very vivid dreams where I've gotten the opportunity to speak to him and, uh, and just thank him for, for being who he was and um, for the example that he set. Uh, his music and his poetry have meant so much to me and so much to um, a lot of the people that I know. Um, and I think that he's the only celebrity whose death is um, anywhere near capable of, um, of leaving the type of hole uh, that normally it would take a, a, a friend or a relative to leave. Um, so I, um, I, I deeply, deeply regret uh, not getting the chance to talk to him before he died. If I could have dinner with anybody, well, this is going to require a little bit more time travel, but um, I would love to have dinner with the actress Donna Reed when she was in her 20s. Um, after my latest viewing of uh, It's a Wonderful Life at Christmas time, I've made the decision that she is the perfect woman in every way possible and uh, as such I've developed a fairly unhealthy infatuation with her. So um, yeah, if, um, if I could have dinner with anybody it's, it would be hands down the lovely Donna Reed and if the evening unfolded in such a way I could maybe um, I could maybe sing her a few songs and propose to her on the same night. Who or what has pissed me off recently? Well, that's another difficult question because um, this world has proven to be nothing more than a vast minefield of things that are just waiting to piss you off every day at every turn. Um, I mean, the human race itself is entirely obscene and we're only getting worse. That being said, uh, in recent years I've um, I feel like I have matured slightly and um, I've come to the realization that 99% of uh, the problems that life will throw at you that piss you off um, can be solved uh, by taking a deep breath and drinking a, a fairly large glass of white wine. What inspires me? Well, I think as songwriters we're all just trying to take our everyday situations and our relationships and our opinions and um, turn them into three and a half minute movies. Each, um, each songwriter being the underdog hero of his or her own production. Um, there, are, there are moments in life that make you feel truly alive or truly in love or make you feel like you've been set on fire for one reason or another. And um, when you write a song, I think you're just trying to capture one of these moments, sort of like a photograph. And um, if you do it just right, you'll be able to um, listen to the song back later on and it'll stir, um, it'll stir up the same emotions in you or, or in somebody else um, that, uh, that compelled you to write the thing in the first place. What words or codes do I live by? Well. As Al Pacino once said, screw your friends, cheat on your wife, and phone your mom on Mother's Day. That, uh, that very strict code of ethics has um, gotten me where I am today, and um, I intend to live by it for the foreseeable. 
At what point did I realize I wanted to be an artist? Well, um, there was no point um, that I had any significant realization. Um, there was no conscious decision made. I think that um, I think that in this life we're all um, we're all just trying to find something that um, that we can do slightly better than we do everything else. Uh, something that we're not entirely terrible at. And whenever you find that thing, whether it's um, whether it's songwriting or uh, or a sport or a job that um, that you genuinely love, um, when you find that thing, then it becomes. Um, it becomes like an oasis or a, or a sanctuary that you can keep returning to. Um, it becomes the thing, um, the thing that uh, the rest of your life uh, can freely revolve around, um, and and um, and it becomes that thing that that, that, that keeps you sane. Um, I think that everybody needs something like that in their life um, if they want to get through it with any degree um, with any degree of safety. If I could take three things to a deserted island, well, I would take a good book, I would take a crate of very high quality wine, and, um, and lastly I would take any, um, any decent advice that was offered to me before I left. What would I do with a million dollars? Well, I can't remember who said this first, but they got it exactly right. Um, if I had a million dollars, uh, I would spend half of it on alcohol and women, and uh, and the other half I would waste. Do I have any advice for aspiring artists? Um, well, the answer is uh, no. At the moment, um, I feel like I feel like I'm just as in need of advice as any aspiring artist out there. Um, and um, if there comes a day in the future when uh, when I feel qualified to pass anything on. I'll let you know. The last question that you've asked me tonight um, in regards to Donald Trump and what I think about him, well, um, not being an American, I don't really feel like I'm qualified to comment, but um, I do wish him all the best in his administration. He's maybe not somebody I would have voted for, but if after four years uh, you still don't approve, then um, I guess you can maybe vote for somebody else. Um, if he's lucky enough to get a second term, then uh, maybe he's doing something right. I don't know, but um, I will. Um, I will leave you with um, a few words of one of my favorite songs. It's coming through a hole in the air, through those nights in Tiananmen Square. It's coming from the feel that this ain't exactly real, or it's real, but it ain't exactly there. From the wars against disorder, from the sirens night and day, from the fires of the homeless, from the ashes of the gay, democracy is coming to the USA. Thanks for having me folks, good night.